But you putting your life in line with crooks and everything. I know how to evade all that shit. In jail. Like, you just gotta know who you fight your battles with. No cameras. You bought me. Hold on, hold on. Oh, now you might. Now you might. Talk about B-Bot. Go outside with that, bro. Talk about B-Bot. me. And I'm still doing this. And there's nobody else. I am running out of that situation. I am running around. I don't give a fuck. I don't know what I gotta do. But I'm gonna keep running and clapping, <laughs> sitting over something. Cause, cause that, that's some BS. Them niggas will probably let y'all die too. I'm talking about in general. Like, if this nigga tell me, give me your goddamn honey, but I'm gonna tell a nigga, fuck no. Fuck, but this is my fucking honey. Nah, nah, that's not the same. You can't let somebody take your bed. Who gives a and you defensive over a honey, but so you know, no, that's not the no. Yeah, yeah, you say, you say, like, this is this is Good, what to do you too? It's the Cozy Boys back again with the Cozy Vibes podcast part. I don't even know anymore. What is this like episode four or five? Three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> As always, bro, I got my head hunters in the building. Go ahead, do what y'all gotta do, bro. You know, it's your boy Jordan. <laughs> and it's Jew. Yeah, man. Today, we're gonna talk about uh, would you ever do 60 days in? It looks like fun, but then you know they always say it looks better on TV than what it is in real life. It's jail. I know that's what I'm saying. Like it looks fun on TV because you see everybody doing certain things and like, oh yeah, like I would never go do that. But then once you went there with the actual, you know, people that are convicted for their crimes, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of scary. Like you end up with a murder and a rapist, you don't know what's gonna happen. Do they get paid? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I would hope so. Be in there for sixty days, no pay, and they're gonna make millions off your little dumbass, and you could die. That is that true. is true. I didn't think about that. So yeah, yeah, I think I think most likely you get paid. So how much would somebody have to pay you to do that? Mm. For my life, risking my life <laughs> to entertain y'all. Um, a cool I'm band. A, a band. A band. Cool band. A band uh, for sixty days. This is in jail. Sixty days. Yeah. This I'm gonna risk my, put my life on the line to get y'all information about how drugs. But a band for a band though, that's a thousand dollars. That's a, only a thousand dollars. I said or more. But you just saying like, like you, a, if you get a thousand, you straight with that. You straight a thousand or more. Yeah. How much? So if you get exactly a thousand. If you get exactly a thousand. Okay, I would want you on my show. If I ran sixty days. Yes, yeah, so I would want you on my show. Okay, so what would y'all do? How much would I do? Dude, I'm A cool milli, bro. What are you doing? Bro, no, a milli. Not that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, saying in, in, show in a perfect world, I would do a milli. No, what's about an actual world? world. I'm being realistic. But the question was, how much would somebody have to pay me to do 60 days? And if, if this is not a milli, I'm not going to do it. I'm talking about best off the show. Like, be realistic. If I'm going to pay you a milli. If I'm being dollars. realistic. What you got? And I'm putting my my danger and risk. A band is too short. <laughs> A million, you're going out your mind. They're not even going to make a million like that. So what do you want? And so I'm going to take, if if I'm getting paid, you're going to at least have to pay me at least 4000 No one's going to pay that, Jordan. Dude, 4000 is not a lot. For Jesus. how many participants? Like 10? Do you know how much app you make? I'm talking about for participants, like just 10 of them. Just be on the show at a local county jail. Dude, and I know how do you know how much money they finna make? Yeah, they mean, you got like they can't pay you four thousand dollars, bro. Dude, they, that's pocket change. And they can barely fix the jail doors. How uh, what makes you think they're gonna pay the actors four thousand dollars? So the jail, the jail is paying them. I thought they make money off the jail. This was a whole different show. No, it's not it's their own show. Since you yeah, yeah. So this is a show, right? Yeah. So if they're getting paid to make the show, then why can't they pay them? They're going they to different jails. I'm saying they're not just one jail. They now. can pay them, but four thousand is too much. I think. But like, I'm talking about the life. show. I'm not talking about the jail paying them. I'm talking about the show paying them. Yeah, the show paying them are different. But I don't think that's this to nothing. Yeah, but the jail, why have the jail pay? For participants. They're in their jail, figure out what they got inside the jail. Yes, but I'm talking about the show. If you're the show, you're going to have to pay them. I'm an actor for the show going to this jail that I could die. I'm in here for 60 days eating this nasty ass food that they served me. Just to make sure they know what the hell's going on in their jail, to make sure they know who they finna get and shit. And you telling me you are you're you want to get paid a thousand, you're fine. And this nigga going all out with a fucking million. But I feel like four thousand would be a stretch. Like if we actually look up how much they make, I bet you nowhere close to what any of us said. 
Okay, so you. <laughs> you right there. Do you think they can't pay you four thousand dollars and you're right you work a week? How much I'm not never mind. We're not gonna ask that. It's compared to your paycheck now, you think they can't pay you that? They can definitely pay, but I just think that it's a stress exactly. for them. So so you told me you're I not wouldn't even pay someone four thousand dollars to figure out what's going to type of jail. But he's saying it's like a big corporation, it's like on A and E. Like they make a lot of money for yeah. ads and commercials and all that. Four thousand ain't that much. Cause and the yeah. money that they're making is nowhere near what they're gonna pay you. You're like all the way down here. They making all the way. He's saying they got enough money. Yeah, I, 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 I know exactly what that. you're saying, but I just feel like they just wouldn't still. So he's saying it. four to five thousand dollars is still like pocket change to them. It's but pocket he's, change. So he's yeah. saying they short change you, you for for a thousand. He said a thousand. Yeah, it, 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 a actually, I'm finna even change my answer. I should make six thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars is not even hundred dollars a day. Exactly. And you're in there. You're you're getting. You're really getting cheated. You're. Listen, Julius, you are leaving <laughs> the comfort of your home to go into a jail to not even get paid a hundred dollars a day. So you telling me you're you're not gonna work, you're you're taking off a work right to go into another job yeah. to not even make a hundred dollars a day. And, and you I said a thousand. A that's day. why I said thousand and, or more. And you said a thousand, so you making ten dollars a day. A thousand that. a thousand or more. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be perfectly fine with yet to give me a thousand be on the show. That's just that sounds too low anyway. But I'm just saying like a thousand to at least three. My, two. my bare minimum was not even six thousand because that's not even a hundred a day. You're not gonna you're not gonna I don't even think you can pay bills with that. So I yeah, I'm yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm working for ten thousand dollars. That's that's my final answer right there. Cause I know I know they can pay that. They try to that shit so they try to pay fucking uh Care Water and Geo to pay a fucking ten minute for a fucking thousand dollars, like ten thousand, like that shit is pocket change. Like I'm taking ten thousand for being there for uh, sixty days. I feel like they should make more than that. I, yeah, they probably you definitely more should than that. because you're like your life on the line. Because you are for your life. The way I'm thinking about it, since it is like a TV show, I'm thinking about like game shows and all. They give like. A million dollars away an episode if they win the episode like prize money yeah. type shit. Like, so I mean like episodes and stuff. As long as you got the right people behind you, you making a lot of money in it. I, mean, I feel like even ten thousand, bro. Like that's not a lot. It's not. It's not a it's lot. Not. Cause people like commercials, bro. Like commercials and all that ad money, you get so much money. Like think about Super Bowl commercials, bro. They make like they cost like a million dollars just to get it put on there. Exactly. So I mean like these shows is making guap. So. Especially if, if I'm going to jail for 60 days, bro, and it's not, like, game show money, like a million dollars, like, I'm not going to do it. That's where my answer came from. You feel me? I wouldn't do the show in jail. That's what I was thinking about. I, I do it. I wouldn't do that. You just got to name the right price, and I'm in there. But you putting your life in line with crooks and everything. See, that's I, know, I know how to evade all that shit. In jail. Like, you just got to know who you fight your battles with. No cameras. No cameras and shit. Because they don't got cameras in certain areas. You put me in the cell. Hey, listen. He want to take my bunk. Hey, sir. Have it. Shit, I'm going to get fall asleep with a goddamn flow. But then. He ain't raw mind. But then he'd be the bitch. Be but then he'd be the bitch in jail. And then they do this is the worst. They treat you like buttons. Like, you got to. Hey, go get my coffee. Okay. Okay, master. Like, oh, no. Like, no, I'm not no. saying. I, well. That's what she was saying. See, okay. <laughs> he did that's say what she was saying. Okay. But I don't care where the fuck I'm sleeping at. If the nigga want the top book, he can have it. That's not. I'm talking about dope. Like, if this nigga tell me, give me your goddamn honey bun, I'm going to tell that nigga, fuck no. Fuck. But this is my same. honey bun. Nah, nah, that's not the same. You can't <laughs> let somebody take your bed. Who gives a and you defensive over a honey bun. So you know, no, that's that, the, no. That, 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 you that, say, that, 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 you can't see that. See, this is this is why these niggas gonna die in jail. <laughs> these niggas so worried about what what you give up. I'm giving up a uh, fucking uh, the top or bottom bunk. Who gives a fuck about where you sleep now? You still gonna sleep. You say you sleep on the floor. So let's let's explore the option. I said I would. Okay, so you're sleeping on the floor in this situation. If there's two of us, then no matter fuck when I sleep on the floor, I'm just saying, we, if we, I was in that situation, they're going to put enough beds in there for you. I'm just saying, like, I would. Like, it's not even that, it's not even that big of a deal. Because I'm in jail, so what the fuck rights do I have? Anyways, so I would sleep on the fucking, in the fucking bed feel like they'll float, so who gives a fuck? But I sleep wherever the fuck this they want to sleep at. 
If this nigga wanna sleep on top, I'm not gonna have no problem if they sleep on top. Nigga wanna sleep, I, bought, I ain't gonna have no problem because what the difference is going to be. We're still in jail, we're gonna be in that bitch for 60 days, no TV, you piss, this nigga watch you piss and shit, like this shit is uncomfortable. So like, fuck it. But to take your goddamn food, what the fuck you gonna eat? Hell no, nah, nigga ain't gonna take my food. <laughs> Some folks, but some folks do go through that. Dude. I like how you broke that down. Though, I, did, I, did, I, did. I like how you did that. I like it because it, like, it took you. You ain't finna just bitch me out. What I'm finna do? <laughs> but at first, that's how you started off with the bed. You I said it's a bed. It's a bed. I just slept. On, I just slept on your flow. And y'all slept in the bed. You see what I'm saying? Like, right? It is it, levels. Like, I'm going to survive. I'm going to to put myself in the situation to thrive to the best ability. If the money right. Yeah. If bro, I, the like, money gotta be a million for me, bro. You got bro, jail is so horrible, bro. Like I would just feel like y'all numbers is too small. Bro, you gotta shower in public. Yeah. You know yeah. it's yeah. dirty. People catch foot uh foot fungus in there all the time because folks be taking folks' shoes. They dirty, they cut you up, you can get raped because the COs don't care. You know what I'm saying? And you want me to go in there for ten thousand dollars? For 60 days, that's two months. While after this, I'm going to go home and I'm going to sleep in my bed. I'm going to do what I want to do. I go to McDonald's if I want to. Exactly. What am I doing in jail? Throwing my life away. For two months. You ain't never going to get that time back. Even if you're doing it for money, that's still time, bro. That's you can't go out with friends. None of that, bro. You, you missing a lot. You missing that. That's what you put my But the main problem is. Can't even get on Snapchat for you. I got to have a Samsung. That's the worst part about jail. Yo, nobody got <laughs> iPhones in jail, but they do got phones, but it's always a Samsung. Now, there are some jails that really like upgraded with like flash screen TV, you know, yeah. iPad. You can get like yeah. KFC in there and everything. Yeah. Like, I saw one dude, he jail. blinked out his whole jail fit. Like, I don't know where he was like some sort of fashion designer, I guess, or he wanted to get great. He was so tough. I'm like, I know he. I was, I was gonna say, I know you get all females in jail, but you know, but you know, females in jail. This one had a dog in his cell. Like, how do you get a whole dog in the prison? Maybe emotional support. Yeah, uh, no. Nah, some, I some, uh, I saw it on Orange is New Black on Netflix. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. I, Maybe that's a real thing. I'm but that was actually a TV show. Like, actually a TV show. This is like, yeah. for real, for real. That's what I'm saying, but like, it's a TV show, but like, they mimicking. They wouldn't put like a fake rule in there just to have a dog on the show, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they get it from jail. So I'm assuming some jails do that for real. I just I do it. If 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 they talking about the right price, they put me on the show. I do whatever. Just make sure. If you tell me slapping nigga, you better have my back when I slap this nigga. Facts. Okay. Nice. And they got I'm suing. They got signals too. Like you in danger, you put your hand on your shit ass, so you like like do like certain like pray motions. Oh stuff. facts. So <laughs> like, <laughs> but like it's also takes them a minute to come get you too. Like they don't get you immediately. Like, it take a cool I, oh, you best like, believe I'm running. Yeah. Hey, listen. What if the cameraman is supposed to be looking and you're doing this is like eating some chips or on the phone with somebody? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen. That, listen, that ever happened to me, bro? I'm chopping that. I'm chopping him out. First of all, and I'm suing. Second of all, because you put in my life today. I'm over here. They ain't look like he gonna come beat my ass, and I'm over here. <laughs> and these niggas are late. Like, what the fuck on <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and as soon as he get close to me, yeah, and um, I don't know. I hope I'm just saying this. I I hope this never happens. But like that's that's something to think about. Yeah, they're scary. I'm really curious how much they make. Uh, I'm, yeah, me too. You probably, but I feel like it's even know. less than what we all said. I feel like it is. Nah, nah. I, I feel, like, I feel like, like I have a strong feeling it is. I feel like it's gotta be more. Cause do they be volunteering? Yeah, they volunteer, or sometimes they just pull people. Like I guess they got like a survey or something. You just fill it out, and they just pull your name and call you. Hey, man, you'll be in the show. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you got to go through the whole process of coughing and squatting and taking showers and then processing. Right, so interesting. How much you think they make? You look up. Yeah. How much? How much you think they make? You. Comment in the comment section. How much you think they make? You right there. You looking? Yeah. Yeah. Who wanna go first? I say per video. video. Per video. Yeah. Uh, by your face, if it, I feel like it's a lot. Mm. Okay, so nah, it's in the thousands. All right, we talking per episode. Actually, let's make it like how we did earlier. How much would you take? So, how much do you think they make? Once it all done, all said and done. So, since you made that face, it'd be a cool at least. 3,000. 20. 
54,000. I knew I should have said 51. I knew I should have said 51. I knew it. That's crazy. You yeah. said nah, you threw me off. You threw me off. So that's that's like I said, that's less than a hundred dollars a day. Not doing it. I'm not going on your show. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I take that back. I'm going on the show. That's per episode or the No, that's the one that's that's one is all over. Never mind. I'm taking that. Yeah. That's that's one of the that's more. Yeah. How much how much that is? I got uh, episode. I mean not episode. That's three now. Fifty four thousand divided by Nine hundred dollars a day. Nine hundred dollars a day. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm taking that. No cap. Mm-hmm. Compared to my job right now, fuck yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm going to that bit right now. Sign me up. Well, I, I, I still wouldn't take it. How much? I'm taking. How about this? How about this though? How much would somebody have to pay y'all to take a charge for them? Or would you take a charge for no, somebody? I would never take a charge. Depending on what the charge. To anybody. Ooh, it depending on charge. And how long the and how long the uh, sentence is? Cause I ain't doing no twenty sentence for five years. You gotta lay down for five years. Okay. For somebody else. Somebody you did, a crime you did not commit because you take the charge of somebody else. It's, this it's tough because it's it depends like what it is. What are you going there for five years for? Is it gonna fuck up your resume when you come out and try to get a job? Yeah, and yeah, it depends yeah. how much money you finna make uh, when you come out. Because if you pay me the right amount where I don't have to work no more, then fuck y'all yeah, take it. But like if I don't if I still have to work and this is fucking up my resume, hell no, I'm not taking it. It definitely the rest of your mess up your resume because they take all your rights. But that's I idea. think just the fact that you went to jail for five years to mess up anybody's resume. Yeah. I, mean, I see what you're saying. Though. Like nobody want like a pedophile at their job. Yeah. But like, okay, say that, like you going to jail for assault. Nah, because that looks horrible on the resume. Assault. Okay, man. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, I'm like trying like to think of like other crimes, like a weed charge or like yeah, like or like, like stealing will steal you. Yeah. Like put you back in there. And okay, yeah, just a wee charge. He had it on him at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. But if you got a or you okay, say you went to jail for somebody else. Say y'all had weed in the back of the car, right? Cops pull y'all over. Okay, you can say it's his weed, but then neither one of y'all snitch, right? Yeah, we just stand on that. That's one you gotta go to jail for the other one. Nah, you gotta say it's your ass, and you gotta go for five. Nah, if we both don't give a statement, then they can't do nothing. Okay, well that's true. I messed up when I said that question. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like, would you take a charge with somebody? At the end of the day, no. would you take a charge with somebody anyway? No. Depends on who. Depends, like, if it's family and it's a small situation, yeah. Or, like, close friend, maybe. But, nah. Just being in jail alone, hearing stories about how folks get out and how they change and personalities mentally wise. Mm-hmm. Like, young boy? No. I mean, for dude, no, because they, they come out. They still come out. They still making that game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because he, yeah, he had. Money I'm saying he home. came out of jail. They saying, they saying. They, mm, nah, I nah, know. nah. What I think like is like real for is like, um, when false rape and then that's their whole life. Like, yeah, yeah. NFL player finna go to NFL type shit, get caught for false rape and then he comes out like 20 years later. They didn't get it. Missed out on millions, like. Millions, like NFL players, make millions. Missed out all that. Now he working an average job, and he just it just it just it just, just fucked up situation. Like, you think girls should be punished for that? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah, I think girls. Because they be getting away with that a lot, dude. Like you really just put this man in jail for lying. Got this man in jail for like half his life, and they ain't not that slap on the wrist. Don't do it again. Like, what the hell you go to that dude? Just because she was mad for one night, he's in jail for like 20 plus years. Lost yes. his career, money, everything. And they don't, nothing happens to him? Like, yeah, I've been different than growing up. Because that's just crazy. Like, it'd be a simple fact that she, that he talked to someone else the same night. I know, oh yeah, he raped me. Where's the proof? Oh no, I just know he did it. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Like, in the court? Really and they always go, they always go with the girl side, not going Yeah, right. they always gonna take the girl side most of the time, bro. Not the man. That's just crazy. I couldn't do with that. Then yeah. trying to plead my case and I'm like, no, I didn't do it. Well, she said that you do. I'm like, bro, I wasn't even there. Facts. And I'm like, no, your DNA is still on silent. But I'm like, two weeks ago, like, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't do it that way. Damn. That's cool. Um, it's, too, it's too many people in jail for that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But like, okay. On the opposite side of the question from earlier, though. Would you snitch on somebody, send them to jail, or decrease your jail time? 
Would you snitch on somebody? I am. It depends on how it's close I'm getting out of the way. I'm snitching. It's it's based on who it is. Like if it's like a really close person, or if it's somebody I'm really close to, I probably not. But like. If I don't know this dude, if you don't snitch, you're going to jail. That's the situation. If you don't snitch, you're going to jail. Hey, but I, so I'm not going to jail. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to jail. I say, like, it depends. Like, say if it was you and I snitched on you to do something, like, dang, I really don't know how much to spend that time, but I don't spend that time either. Uh, oh, um, send me to jail. I'm giving you permission to. If I did something oh, yeah, to worry okay, okay, yeah, that situation, yeah, 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 yeah. You, send, you go, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, if I didn't do like, nothing, yeah, yeah. If you didn't do nothing, that's what I'm saying. I'm missing. I'm not but you can't snitch you know, if you like, could, if you're not in the wrong. If you're the wrong. You're going to jail too. Like, you snitch on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like you telling me you finna go to jail <laughs> for something that you didn't do? <laughs> Come on now. Let's use our minds here. <laughs> I don't care how real you is. Ain't nobody doing that down there. That's that. that's true. I definitely. I mean, do. some people do. Folks be going to jail for other people sometimes. Like, you should even go ahead and lay down and take the years, me, bro. I've been paying. Some people to pay people to go to jail. Yeah, if I'm yes. going to pay, like, if you going to jail, no pay. You just come out, you think you're going to come out normal and just get a job right away? Like, no. Like, you're wasting your, your time and your life right now not, not for, not for something that you didn't do. I couldn't be under no one else's control like that in jail. And they don't care about you at all. Either. They don't. They barely want to feed you like that. If they get in a fight, some some jails don't even give a fuck. Like, they let you fight that bitch out. Yeah. Some people be hanging themselves, getting killed, man. They're, yeah, I can't. That's not for me. And at the end of the day, what 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 they go do to cops? Nothing. You're in jail, so do you think they give a fuck? You just got your ass beat up. Well, you you're in jail for a reason, so you probably <laughs> deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> that is shit. That's even like shit. Now, for the people that should be in there, yeah, I feel bad for y'all. Yeah, like you kill five people and you run around killing mothers and fathers, yeah, you definitely deserve being jail. You know what? I don't understand when people, they homeboys go to jail, right? Knowing they go to jail for very, very violent crimes and they still be like, free my homeboy. Some people need to stay in jail. Like, yeah. like some people just need to stay out of jail. Like, I know it's your homeboy. I now. come up to you, like, what's I don't do? Oh, that nigga just robbed the bank, slapped the old lady, and just <laughs> walked out. But free him, though. Like, okay. Let he me, needs to be me. rehabilitated for a little while. Something's going on with your homeboy. <laughs> just for a little, like, just let him, let's let jail get some sense in the Yeah, let, let him process a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we just make it, like, uh, like, just think about it if that was your parents that this dude did that to you, like. You're gonna feel some type of way. Like yeah. you're not just like, okay, free him. And like you're just only saying that because you don't know the person that he just did that to. Right. And you just know him. And yeah. he just did some fucked up shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell him to free him. But if that, that happened to you, if he robbed you, you like, fuck that. No yeah. free him. Like come you on. You right there, you sitting there, somebody come up from behind you, take all your stuff. All and it. somebody on the other side, on his family side, talking about free him. You but you want him going, you him right there. You see him? I see him. You see him? I'm glad you see him. Him right there. Bro, that's all I'm saying, bro. You can't. Everybody don't need to be out. Yeah, be people are making some serious crimes. So it's a free you. Like, bro, you just robbed five. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Kill eight people. <laughs> what, you think you need to be free? Like, no. Nah, bro. That, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. Only person need to be free is... No, I'm just playing. That was helpful. I was going to say take care. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say take a. Hey, take a music hard, but take a music is hard, but he killed a couple. What did he have? No, he did all the drugs and stuff. He's like he a drug lord. Yeah, he was the uh, car. No, I ain't gonna say cartel. I assume cartel, but I don't know. I really don't. But I know his drug stuff. And Larry Hoover. <laughs> he did all the concert for that. He, I looked him up. He the one started at GD in yeah, Chicago. Yeah, I thought it was a white dude to begin with. Uh, I, I heard that he did it. And they did a whole concert, Kanye and Drake. Instead of they beef. What if they got hit? Who who went in that fight? Kanye and Drake. They both look weak. <laughs> <laughs> they both look real weak. Drake work out? Kanye, he was li- he was working out when he was performing that down day thing. He was? Thing. Yeah, in his room. And he spent like a million dollars a night just to say that. That was crazy. Yeah, he got it. That was too much. And his merch was like 200 for a t-shirt. <laughs> you know, that actually was like the richest estate like in the United States at that time. Because he was spending a, a million dollars a day 
but because the room was so small, it made the house so expensive. Or where not the house, but like that part, like yeah. so expensive. So he was like living in like the most expensive thing at the time. That's great. I would never do that. I don't care how much money I have. Did you blow money like that for a night? But he's a billionaire. Do you not realize how much? I know a how much money. Is? That's a lot of money. But at the same time, that's just that's like a hundred dollars. That's how you're paying for a hotel for two. So you know he, you know that's your time thing. You know. I still nah. You gotta think, bro. Why he's spending that money? He's really making it. Yeah, back. he's definitely making it back. At the same, like, like not even making it back. Like as he's typing in, like I need to send this money to wherever it needs to go. He's making that money at the same time. People's buying Yeezys right now. Yeah. People's buying his clothes. His shoes is goaty. You know what I'm saying? He got clothes with holes in them. Everybody gonna buy. They're buying his merch. So why not? And then he's, he's in the out. process of making an album. So you know he's gonna make yeah, he was dropping that album, bro. He's making a lot. He turned to a gospel too. Yeah, he really changed his life around because he used to be real crazy. He like, killed his kid and all this other stuff. He did whatever. He was talking about in an interview, not not an interview. He like performing and stuff. He was talking, and man, I was down bad at one time. I was talking about killing my kid, struggling, and all this other stuff. Like, bro, what the hell? And he was like really also crazy. He had a bulletproof vest on and everything, or security guard. Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I remember it because it was like a while ago. Was he? he was it's kind of the one that started them like shoes that look like feet. You know no, what I'm talking about? Nah, nah, that's some of those. That I know exactly what you're talking about. Though. I want those. I'm hard. No, bro. I'm like three hundred dollars. That we are so off topic. How do we get about Kanye? We so much. <laughs> Could we talk about? Um, who would win in the fight? Yeah. Who would win in the fight? Okay, my bad. Because <laughs> I, I can't remember that question. What are we talking about? Yeah. I still feel like Kanye would win. Oh, yeah, no, my bad. I didn't even get to answer the question. Yeah, Drake, for sure. I'm sorry. Kanye look a little built. And, you know, he's mad all the time, so, you know, he gonna have some anger. He bipolar. Yeah, he bipolar, he gonna be shit on Drake. <laughs> Facts. I don't know who would win, but um, Drake was on the grass again. <laughs> my guess. Kanye, because I seen Drake run from the smoke. <laughs> Or he was trying to go to some smoke at the club and he didn't been like intimidated at all. So I'm gonna have to go with Kanye. I don't know if y'all, <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen that video, but he was at the club and fight somebody and he just didn't look scary. He just was like, I'm gonna go with Kanye. Yeah, I'll go with Kanye. You should be shit, Drake. Kanye is from Chicago. Yeah, and he's like that. He might be like that. No, I think I might got your man's. No disrespect to either one of them. They both. No disrespect, Drake. If you did this, you have wonderful music. I like the music. You like his last album? Yeah, yeah. I still listen to that, Joe. It's hard. I don't yeah. listen to none of it. Girl, like, man, like, you don't like Drake, bro? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's in my in my Apple Music. He's my top five. But I listen to his other shit. I don't listen to his new shit. I like his other shit. Yeah, Way better. His other shit is hard. Yeah. That is true. I can't even cap. I love Drake though. Just being that. I, I feel like I feel like his old stuff is better, but like he still ain't fell off. Like yeah. has, his music yeah. ain't yeah. got worse. Like I just like his old stuff better. Yeah, you know how like old people be like falling off. You know, a real person like Gucci man, like yeah. that man was on and then he fell off. Now he back on. Like yeah, he also went to jail too. Though. Yeah, true. But I, I like Gucci man. Lil Wayne fell off. I'm sorry. It's all yeah. Lil Wayne. No, Hayden, no. Hayden, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but I feel like uh, Lil Wayne fell off. So. Like people are like, cause he's such a lyricist. Like, if you listen to like what he's saying, it's like, oh my god, that was so deep. But if you actually listen to him, you're like, brown, you wanna get the bar unless you listen like five, six times. Yeah, he be he. It's like every single time. But like, I don't like music where I have to listen to appreciate the lyrics. Listen too hard to listen to what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if if the music sound good and I don't know what you're saying, I'ma still like the song. I'ma bump it. I don't really gotta understand what you're saying. Yeah. A lot of people be like. Bro, you don't listen to real music, bro. Like, Yeet and all the mumble rap and the Playboy Card. They're like, bro, it's not real music. Like, bro, it's music just because you don't like yeah. it, bro. Like, I don't care about lyrics, bro. I just need to shake my head a little bit when I'm listening to the beat, you feel me? Like, it's not, it's never that deep. Like, Lil' Key, Lil' Key's Lil voice Lil is, <laughs> people hate Lil' Key's voice. Lil' Key, uh, uh, Long Live Mexico, that album had no skips. But other than that, bro, like, that junk really, like, I don't need no real. Key. I like, I, like I, vibe, I don't need to listen to Jay Cole to, to yeah. say like it's real music. Just vibes music, just shaking head. Now yeah. you know, 
Trying to listen with Bucky. When I be rapping, like, I be rapping at Lego's house. I don't even know the fuck I be saying. <laughs> as long as that be catchy, so yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say that. Get the words here. Like I'm like, let me start the music to see if I can rap that. <laughs> I rap, I'll be rapping. I'm like, that shit don't make no sense. Fuck it, just turn that bit back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got you. Hey, have you ever started rapping a song and then you tried to say the words? I'm like, what is? And you got to think like, yeah. what does he actually yeah. say right there? Cause yeah. like, I don't know what I'm saying. That's but that's, like, what is he? That's why saying? he's a genius for it. I use that. <laughs> and if they don't have no genius, then I'm gonna look on Apple Music. Look, look at the lyrics. <laughs> lyrics. Look at it. While I'm going by, I be yapping to do that sometimes. And then then when I look at this shit, I'm like, this is not what the fuck he said. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I still be saying it my way. I don't even care. I be saying it my way anyway, because like I don't. Because that's what it sound like. Yeah, yeah, my mama let me do it. It sounds a whole lot better when you do it. It sounds a whole lot better when it you do it. It sounds ten times better. Because it, 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 it sounds it like it's matching. It's yeah. off the tongue. Yeah. yeah, I like how you did. I like how you did that. Yeah, yeah. that's how you got to do it, bro. I still say it my way. I don't yeah. care what. The, I'm like, bro, that's. But like, have you ever seen a rapper in the studio? Yeah, that is so awkward. I because they say one line. And then stop. Cut it. Right back. Right back. And let me hear that one right quick. It's crazy because I was looking at like a snippet. Somebody was doing that. And I was like, what the hell? And then they was like, in the comments, he just trying to find his flaw. I was like, okay, that makes sense. I saw a low key video just like that. Low key, he was in that video. He just don't know. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? And then they're like, oh, he's just trying to find his flow. I'm like, okay, that makes sense now. I mean, like, okay, I mean, it makes sense. If it worked for you, it'll work for you. I'll be so confused, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go hard to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Right, 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 right. Back. Right, right. Back. Yeah, okay. Back. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go live. Tell me, DJ. I ain't yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Nice like, up. And I make it a bit violent right now. This would be my most violent fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, facts. Let's make it. Talk about B-Bot. Go outside. Talk about B-Bot. Go outside. Talk about B-Bot. Yeah. Yeah. And we're back from commercial break. Sorry for the little interruption. We had some difficulties and technical things we had to take care of real quick. But yeah, the next question is, what is the most violent situation you've ever been in? What, what you got, J-Dog? Speak, speak to it. Most violent? Um... I might have to go with probably like two years ago. Um, so I'm on a metro bus in DC. <laughs> I'm on a metro bus, metro bus in DC with Delante. So <laughs> so oh. Um, so we on the bus, right? And we just trying to get to our destination. We just trying to go to the basketball court. And you know, can't even find that bit. So anyway, so um we just trying to get to the basketball court and we see some two two females. They was bad, like really bad. So, you know, me and Don's had to tell her real quick, uh, go talk to them. And so we getting their numbers and so we get to talking. They ain't never mentioned they had a boyfriend, so we ain't know. So we was like, Can we link up later? They like, Yeah, that's straight. And so, so we just think like it's gonna be just a normal two on two type shit, just get in, get out type shit. Two man operation. Yeah, two man yeah, operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they ain't never said nothing about having no man, so we didn't think nothing of it. So, so the later day comes, we get ready, we leave out the house again. He lives like in the type of apartments in DC, so we're leaving out. We, we get on the bus, we go back to the same spot, and we meet up to where they told us to uh, meet him at. Meet him at, and you know, there's like a pizza across. So I was like, now I'm finna go eat on that. So that's, <laughs> that's what I was excited for after. So we there, that's at a randomly, um, another car I pulled up while we were talking to the other two females. We were like, who is that? Mm. And then one of the girls was singing, the other one wasn't. So oh, that's her name. And then um, it was the one that I was talking to. Unfortunately, like, what the fuck? So why you ain't telling me that? She's like, oh, I didn't mention that first. So we get the, uh, he got the car and you know, they got a do uh do rag and they got damn bandana on his head. Mm -hmm. So I'm like thinking like what this nigga red blood? This nigga's a blood. <laughs> yeah. So shit really finna go on. And then another the nigga come out the car like, oh shit, so we already know what type of time it is gonna be on. Yeah, yeah. So so they just come up and so 
I get to talking to them, trying to uh, settle it down, because, like, yo, I ain't know. Like, how I'm supposed to know? She ain't tell me. Your, God, your girl's a tree. Like, what's up with that? Your girl's a tree. She's you know? a bad tree, sir. And, like, she was going to let me pipe if you wasn't available. Like, come on now. But, like, he wasn't trying to hand out that shit because, you know, he trying to yeah, if uh, he was make his dominance. He was doing him a favor. Like, yeah, no, I'm trying to let you know that y'all the girl a hoe. <laughs> so, he, he like, all right, put your shit up. I'm like, really? I'm trying to get out of this situation. Like, I ain't really, I don't really like trying to fight in a hole I don't know. Yeah. And so, he getting close, he pushed me. I'm like, oh, hell nah. All right, so now we gotta get out of here. So, I thought the first 20, I missed that bit. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my ass beat. <laughs> that nigga already know, he look like he better do. And, and I'm looking at Delonte like. I was gonna say, Delonte won't go do that? Like, this nigga gonna help me like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I ain't gonna beat it now. <laughs> so, so. I started backing up where Delonte was at. I'm just like, all right, bro. I'm going to have to do something. So he was kind of back towards. I'm like, all right, now, niggas, let's get to it. But look at Delonte. Hey, nigga, he be finna run. So I, so, I get, so I get close to him. I'm like, all right, bro. Niggas swing at me. I don't know how the fuck I dodged that shit. But uh, that nigga kind of hit my ear. That shit hurt, too. I got like a little, little scar in my ear on that shit. But not a scar to your ear, bro. Yeah, like he's fiend that I think like a fiend that cut my shit, but anyways. But hopefully that wasn't dirty. That's not nasty. Yeah, right. that shit it, it like it infected, but it, it didn't get infected because like two years ago. So like he's crazy. So my God, so, so I think he, he did that. I'm like, oh yeah, this nigga about business. Turned around. <laughs> I'm looking at Delante. Delante just standing there. <laughs> nigga, come <laughs> on, <over, laughs> bro. <brother. laughs> and then nigga start running too. I'm like, bro, they got time, man. And I hit the corner. And, and I just remember some niggas at the basketball park just laughing at my ass. I'm like, oh, fuck him. These niggas laughing. I'm running. You know, I see Delonte running. He finally turned the corner. We just running. Just trying to get out of that bit. And, you know, they got their cars. So I'm like, that's the main thing I'm thinking in my head. Like, damn, they got a car and we running on feet. Yeah. So how the fuck I'm going to get out of this situation? So I was waiting for Delonte to catch up. I'm like, you live here, you know, in Detroit, because, like, nigga, I'm, in, I'm from Georgia, we in D.C., like, how the fuck I'm supposed to know where the fuck D.C. is violent, too, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, like, yeah. D.C. is really, like, cut like that. Dude. Yeah, so, like, I'm like, bro, you, you know how to get out of here? like, yeah, I got I got some shortcuts, but, you know, I, I know, I know like, some houses are running, like, you got some houses that we cut through, get gone, and try to catch a bus or some shit. I'm like, all right, let's do it then. So, so we just got to running. Passing like gas stations and shit, all types of shit. And so we go through, pass a little park, and then that's a metro bus thing. So we just we just got there and we just waited. It was probably like a couple blocks from where we was at. Well, it was probably like a in total like a five minute run. That's a long distance, yeah. like a total five minute run. Like so, we got that bit. You know, I'm not, I don't really get into fights like that, but like yeah. That was probably the most violent. I thought I was gonna get shot because you know, that nigga was a blood. So. And we in DC. Like <laughs> what you got? I ain't got no violence to it. I don't do nothing at all. You ain't never done nothing violence. Nah. You ain't never been in a bad situation like no dog and never like bit you or nothing. I love dogs. Dogs love, love me too. too. And I love dog, but I got bit by dog. That was probably one of the more violent situations. <laughs> it, it was at a birthday party though. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> I was like, I was, I was still living in Texas, so I was probably like, this is before second grade, so I was real, I was like legit, so I was playing with, it was a Doberman, bro, full grown, black, black and uh, brown, you know what I'm saying? We running around, backyard, trampoline over there, you know what I'm saying, cut kids running around, like, they let dog out for some reason, I don't know why they thought the dog was okay, you feel me? <laughs> We playing, I'm playing with the dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I love dogs, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I love this dog, you know what I'm saying? I get to playing with it. But I didn't know dogs, you know what I'm saying, sometimes play rough. So he got real rough. And I try to like push him off me. I'm like, I started getting scared. I'm like, oh, he finna attack me right now. But he was really just playing. So I started, <clears throat> I started taking off. But I wasn't trying to like run through a bunch of people, right? Cause that would have just been slowing me down. So I just started running in circles. <laughs> I just started running in circles for real though. And then eventually the dog caught up to me. Obviously, I'm like six years old and this is a full grown doberman. 
it, it got me, I don't know how it got me on the ground. I think I might have tripped or it hit, got my leg or something. Beat me on the side of my head, bro. You bleed? Huh? Bleed? Nah. No. No, it didn't even leave a scar. I got, another, I got another scar on my head, but that's from a different reason, though. That's your area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I had a skit, too, bro. With no afro, none of that, his hair didn't, with nothing cushion to blow. He just bit my head. It was just one time though, then you know what I'm saying. I think it was, I think it was a, you know what I'm saying. The mama came outside, the owner of the dog. She's like, oh my god, no! She's like, ah! You know what I'm saying? Little boy just got bit at her uh, little kid's birthday party. That's how it was. We probably should have. That's how I would do it. Now that I think about it, why didn't we sue them? I don't know. You too. <laughs> I don't know. I was Man. six. I was crying, bro. I was so scared, bro. But dogs still love dogs. Dogs, I hate dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, dog bit my own time. I hated them, motherfucker. I was at Delonte house. Bit. But I guess I pissed him off or some shit. We like five, six. I, I guess I pissed him off. Yeah. That bitch said, that bitch opened the door. All I meant, go get him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love dogs then, but I was like, what the fuck? This nigga running full speed, big as fuck. I'm little as hell. This nigga big as shit. I don't know what type of dog it is. Cause fuck dogs anyway. But uh, so that nigga started running. I'm like, all right, where the fuck I'm gonna go? I got on the couch, jumped on top of the couch. That shit was nothing. They about hide that. Man, that nigga cleared that shit. Bit the fuck out of me. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I was pissed. I was crying. I'm like, damn, this dog just bit me. Where did it bite you at? On my leg. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. It just bit me. I'm like, and so then I'm like, it's still trying to play. So it's playing. <laughs> I'm not playing. So I open the door. I run out the house. My dumb ass forgot to close the door. The dog chasing me. So I'm running. This is, I actually lived like where he lived at when he was a kid and he moved. Like 10 years later, I moved. And like the same is that how crazy. So I'm running out the street. And so there's buildings everywhere, like a little complex. Right, right. So I take right. a right. And so I'm just running as fast as I can. And then I just hit up. And and so it's just a road. And I just see the dog behind me just chasing me through the whole thing. So I'm I'm doing what he's doing, but just larger. I'm just running around <laughs> the ass circle. So I'm just hitting the same points over and over and over again. And to that shit finally caught me. Like I was like, no, I was getting tired. So I turned into like where the uh, where somebody would live at. And I tried to hide and I just seen that bitch just run right past the shit. Still trying to chase me. And the dog got lost that day. Crazy thing about it, the dog got lost. And and so I don't know where the fuck it went. And I went back inside of where Delonte was at. And I was like, you was like that dog just say, I'm sick. You, you let that dog chase me? <laughs> like I was like, the fuck? <laughs> and then he's like, where the dog at? I don't know. That big go. So 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 we had to go so we had to go find the dog. After the dog bit my ass, me and him me and mom had to go find the dog. We ain't find that bit that day, but it, it came home mentally, so it was all straight. But yeah, that's why I hate dogs, bro. Bro, you can't let one's experience do it, bro. Nah. Cause you got a Yorkie right now, the cutest dog. Yeah, the dog could hurt you even if it wanted to, bro. You just hate it for dog no like reason. It dog is literally this big. Mm, that shit annoying. You be barking a lot. I'm on the game upstairs. <laughs> what the hell is you barking at? What the fuck is you barking at? There is nothing that it barks at. I come downstairs, it barks. If I wanted to sneak out the house, that dog is gonna snitch on me. It's like, goddamn, shut the fuck up, dog. <laughs> Just be barking. That's why I hate the dog now. Just be barking for no reason. Come down the stairs. It's like 2 a.m. at night. Come down the stairs. I hit one step. I'm like, bro, these niggas asleep. It's right by my, so my my dad was right here. They, they knew the cage. The cage is like right here. So the, it's right by my dad. So they're asleep and they got to go to work in the morning. And I'm trying to leave at the house. You know when I leave at the house, like front door. Yeah. So now, now you got the dog barking. <laughs> front door. My car starting up from the outside. Like, damn, it's going to wake somebody the fuck up. Like, bro, it's just, bro. I just can't stand that damn dog. I don't want a dog. I love dogs. What dog, what dog would you get? A bulldog. I want a fat lady. Dog. You want a fat bulldog? Yeah. yeah. I want the little English ones. I just, yeah, no, just sit there and chill with me. Like ugly from yeah. UGA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just sit there. 
Just sit there and chill with you. Yeah, I love. I like. I like a little fat. Dog. Play a little bit of find out when get tired. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I would want to walk my dog. Nah, we don't gotta walk. Nah, I'm a lazy, but like I feel like it, need, it would keep me in, in check because like I know I need to do something, so I need to go walk. So I would, I would get one for that reason. But I would, when I'm old, I'm definitely getting like a bulldog or like one of them like basset hounds with them long ears that be dragging along the float. You know what I'm talking? About? Yeah, I think so. That be used to like hunt people down and shit. <laughs> I would definitely get one of them. You know, shit. They always they look old too. They look like they remind me of old people. They definitely do. Facts. The ears just droopy, the face all, yeah. And they be looking like they mad 27. I'm like, where your mad ass on here? You know what what you mean? gonna call it? What's the name gonna be? <laughs> uh, my sister had this interesting idea, so I saw this uh, idea for my sister. Uh, she gonna get two of them, because I was planning on getting two dogs. She gonna name one Range and one Rover. That's so buns. That was Range and Rover. I, I like it. That's buns. But I might name it like a. Um, I was thinking something like Buddy. <laughs> That's even worse. I cause I I ain't got no other like dog names, bro. To be honest, unless I name like something like Mortal Kombat. I name it Kano. That's a that's a good name for a dog. Now that I think about it, Kano. That's horrible. I like it. What would you name your dog, bro? Probably like Bruce. It sounds like a real strong dog. You say Bruce. Sound like a You're getting bull. a bulldog, bitch. There's nothing like strong a, about it. That sounds like a pit bull. That sounds like a pit bull name. Yeah. Like a real. I don't know what I would name a dog. You gonna know talk about me, bitch? Like Opie. I like that. <laughs> I like that one. Opie is a good one. Opie. I don't never call you a dog, Opie. Why? That shit just sounds stupid. <laughs> oatmeal. Oatmeal. Like. And then call it oat. That shit don't sure. sound weird. Call it oatmeal. Call it oat for sure. Oat. I like that. I mean, that's state, but oatmeal. See, you make ways, right? Bro. Oatmeal. Would you give a full name? You know, some people be giving their dogs like, full names, good names, everything. Yeah. Reggie Miller, like type shit. <laughs> like, I'll give my dog a Miller Reggie. First, Reggie. middle, and last name. And he's going to have, uh, it's going to be like a junior after his name. Uh, I'm not a Reggie called change. That's a change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, it's going to be something that a junior. Oh, okay. And, I'm, and then I'm gonna get my dog a chain. I'm gonna dress my dog up on me when it's when it's Christmas time. He's gonna be wearing a Santa Claus outfit when it's when it's uh, Halloween. I'm mm-hmm. gonna dress it up in something, bro. I got to look at me like that. All you want to? I'm dressing my dog. Up. You act like I'm keeping it in like a little purse or something. You probably like, really. you probably no, have a whole, have a whole car seat for the dog. <laughs> a car seat for the dog? Nah, I want to get a Jeep just so they look cool when he when he hanging out the window, just like that. But yeah. I don't, that's all I would do with a dog. No. Don't mean But I wouldn't get his ears clipped. Yeah, they look like they hurt. They well, like they get hurt. cut off. So. I mean, they look fine once it gets cut and it's yeah, like it's sticking like up. But I, I feel like it's, it's stupid sometimes. But sometimes I do it for like health reasons. I don't know. Mm, I wouldn't do it to my dog. I would never touch my dog. <sighs> Damn, okay, before oh, we wrap this up. Um, <laughs> I would also like to um I would want to address something. Like if we ever say something and if you have a problem with it, like what if we talking about you? I mean, I don't know if anybody would have a problem with us, but if we talking about you and you have a problem, you can let us know like we ain't trying to bash your name, like for incident with uh Braxton. Um, yeah. Yeah. We we not trying to bash you like we just try to tell the truth, but like if you take it like the wrong way, you can let us know. Like we're not trying to get on you or anything. So yeah, we really chill, bro. We don't be trying to cause no static, bro. We just be talking. Y'all love. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's the Cozy Boys with another Cozy Vibes podcast, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a good day.